it's not very often that a, a platform or a tool that comes out that will completely revolutionize the way you practice medicine. But I think that's, that's happened to some degree in robotic surgery. We recently celebrated our 10th anniversary and uh, purchased a brand new uh, DaVinci XI platform. It was designed to add another uh, layer of utility to laparoscopic surgery. Laparoscopic surgery had some limitations, uh, primarily because uh, the camera of laparoscopic surgery is uh, only um, two-dimensional. There's no 3D image for laparoscopic surgery. And the instruments are, are straight and generally don't have uh, any uh, uh, wrists or uh, joints in them. And robotic surgery allows uh, the surgeon to use instruments that have a greater degree of flexibility, uh, more articulation, and there's a computer interface that provides a, a 3D image inside the body. At the beginning of the procedure, before the patient even gets in the room, the robot is prepared and draped and prepared with all the sterile instruments that are going to be used during surgery. The robot is brought into position, uh, and uh, through one of the cannulas, which, is, which are inserted into the abdomen, the robot is docked. The uh, surgeon will then assume control of the robot away from the surgical field. They'll actually break scrub, which means they'll take off their sterile gown and go over to the robotic console, which is uh, on the other side of the room, connected by a fiber optic cable. And there, the surgeon will use his or her hands to uh, perform gestures inside the robotics console, and the robot will mimic those gestures on the inside of the, uh, of the patient. It's pretty cool. <laughs> For some procedures that are very difficult to perform laparoscopically, the only other option is open surgery. And when you compare a robotic procedure to an open surgery, the incisions are a lot smaller. There's generally a, a lot less blood loss, particularly with the robotic surgery. The hospital stay uh, after the procedure is almost cut in half. Less post-operative pain, quicker return to regular activities because of less pain, and less usage of narcotic medications, which um, is what we're all striving to achieve nowadays because of the opioid epidemic. Having it here in Fredericksburg saves patients the, the, the burden of having to travel, you know, an hour or more to, to find a, a location that has the XI platform. I think that's, that's important to the community here, knowing that, you know, Mary Washington Healthcare has made an investment to try and uh, provide services here that are the most up-to-date, providing patients with that opportunity to have their care here in Fredericksburg uh, with their with the physicians that have cared for them for years and their family that are there to support them. Uh, and, that, and that makes a big difference. Having the, the opportunity to be part of the sort of advancement of surgical techniques um, is, is a privilege and it's great to see patients benefit from that. So that, that makes for uh, happy patients and it's, a re it's rewarding for the surgeons who are, who are participating in the care.